Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. Another fun thing about cowboy action shooting, and I would guess many other sports, is the ability to set different challenges for yourself. You might set a goal to beat your overall time at the last match, or you might set your sights on another competitor. Maybe there's someone that's been getting the better of you in the overall scores, and you decide to set a goal to do better than them at the next match. I do this stuff all the time. I may go into a match with the goal to shoot it clean, or more recently, I may set a goal to shoot as fast as I can and not worry about missing the targets. And that's what I've been doing lately, shooting fast and not focusing on the misses. But there are days where the humidity is high and the wind is low or a non-existent breeze and shooting black powder fast and hitting anything becomes a challenge in itself. In fact, I recently had one match where I had a total of six misses. And honestly, I bet that is more misses than I had in all of 2019. But again, the goal or the challenge in this case for me is to get faster, to shoot faster. And that's really a tough challenge for me because I enjoy shooting clean. But I guess it wouldn't really be a challenge if it wasn't tough, right? Anyways, these misses were kind of getting to me. I was thinking that maybe I needed a reset or sort of a little confidence boosting. You know, I needed to see if I could indeed still shoot a clean match. And yeah, my pard Royal Flush is fond of telling me whenever I shoot clean, anybody can shoot clean when they're shooting that slow. And while he's just funning with me, there is some truth in his humor. Anyways, when I went to the ruckus match this month, I knew I couldn't just set a goal to shoot clean. And by that again, I mean no misses, no procedural penalties. Instead, I felt like I had to make the challenge more than that. So what I decided to do was to shoot clean, but push my speed so that I was still the fastest black powder shooter at this monthly match. And the gear that I chose to use was as follows. Two Uberti 1851 Navy revolvers, 38 caliber with five and a half inch barrels, one Uberti 1866 Yellow Boy rifle, 44 caliber with a 20 inch barrel, and my trusty SKB 200E 12 gauge coach gun. And the revolvers were carried in a Ted Blocker drifter rig. So now I've got the gear and I've got the plan. Let's see if I can accomplish what I set out to do. I can print near. Darn near, practice and guarantee it. Stand by. All right, that would have been a really good stage if I hadn't had that little fail to fire. And I think that maybe the firing pin on those revolvers needs to be replaced. It seems like I have to do that about once a year with my Richard Mason conversions. Anyways, going all the way around on two revolvers because I lost track of which one had the live round in it cost me a bit of time. Bad luck bites you, it bites hard. Yeah, <laughs> all the way around on two guns. That, yeah, that was weird. But I was clean. Now I have to keep that up for five more stages and make up for the lost time so that I can still be the fastest black powder shooter. By golly, you were wrong, Mr. Dunstan. Stand by. Now, 
Thank you. That's better. Yeah. Stand by. Done. 34 93 Long guns the unloading table. Spotter say clean shooter. Range is clear. Pick and set. Good job. Harry Percival. That's a name I'd remember. Stand by. Four up. Down. Down, down, down. Thirty-three seventy-five. Three, three, seven, five. Nice Range is clear. Pick a set. Spotter say clean. Can you do it fast? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely need to replace the firing pins on that revolver. Again, it costs me time, but I'm still clean. Two more stages to go. Okay, here we go. Ready? All right. Hey, you don't mind if I shoot, do you? Stand by. Three three nine five. Good spotter. I'll take it. You didn't miss any. Clean That's shooter. Good job. Now I know why you moved up here. The Oregon Environmental Protection people they probably ran threw me out. ass out of the state. <laughs> <laughs> that was Don't worry, they'll catch up with you here too. I know. Did someone say that I was a mean, no good, low down bushwhacker? Bye bye. Good job. Thank you. So there you have it. Six stages, no misses, no procedural penalties. Yeah, that was a clean match. Seventh place overall and the fastest black powder shooter at the match. Goal accomplished. Nice run. Burn Thank that you. one down. And you can find all of the instructions for today's stages on my previous episode here. And what about you? What goals do you have set for yourself on or off the firing line? And do you sometimes change the focus of your goals? Let me know down in the comment section. I'll see you down there. Oh, and I'll see you back here tomorrow because I went back to this match the next day to see if I could accomplish the same goal no misses, no procedurals, and fastest black powder shooter with an entirely different set of firearms. Ones that I'm far less familiar with. Stay tuned for that. And before I sign off, a quick shout out to this week's episode supporters, Throckmorton, David, 
and my friendly rival, Tethro Tex LaRue. Thank you all for your donations to Jedi TV at www.buymeacoffee.com slash Jedi TV. It's very much appreciated. I'm Jed. This is Jedi TV. I'll see you in some other place and some other time. Yes, <laughs>